Hi, I'm Cassidy Sebastian and I'm a senior biochemistry major with a leadership minor at Gonzaga. So in high school I really liked biology courses and chemistry courses and when I got to Gonzaga I really wanted to major in something that I wanted to enjoy and I thought that the combination of biology and chemistry would fit really well with me because I liked both of them. And then just learning through my major all the years that I've spent here, I've come to know that biochemistry is really the fundamental basis for a lot of different scientific fields. And that foundational knowledge is super important and applicable in all, honestly almost anything that you want to go into. And something that I find really interesting about biochemistry is that foundational knowledge can be applied to sciences such as say certain diseases. And so like when you know and understand how something is supposed to actually work in the body and then you can figure out when something is wrong, what's actually not working to potentially come up with different technologies or solutions to solve problems. So I am in Dr. Cravens' lab. I've been in her lab since I was a freshman. So I got very early involved in undergraduate research, which is something that happens at Gonzaga that I'm thankful for. And so the project I'm currently working on is DNA zymes, which have a therapeutic potential for certain diseases that are essentially caused by the overexpression of certain proteins. So how DNA zymes actually work is some of them are able to actually cleave mRNA, so they stop a protein that causes a certain disease by its overexpression from actually being made in the first place. Instead of preventing that protein from working, we're starting before that protein's even being made. So my project was involving DNA zymes and specifically 817, and we were looking at if DNA zymes are going to be used in the human body, so such as in cells, they have to be able to withstand DNA damage. So some parts of our projects focus on a certain type of DNA damage called spontaneous deamination, where just essentially different parts of it are changed to similar parts, but they're slightly different, so it could potentially have a different order of its structure, so then it could lead to a different function. But essentially, we are looking at if this DNA zyme is mutated, will it still work? And if so, how well will it work or how will it have a lesser ability to work? And then with those different mutations, is it going to have more specific actions for its cleavage capability? So it's kind of looking at different DNA mutation effects on a DNA zyme's function to cleave RNA. So my plans for graduation is I'm going to actually apply to medical school this next cycle in May, and I'm actually going to be getting my CNA when I go home this summer during my application year, and I'm hoping to go to medical school this next cycle because it's something I'm passionate about, especially the intersection of just science and relationships that you can have in medicine, and I'm looking to potentially serve in more rural and underserved areas.